should work. Really, the story is just about the two of us, number 10 and number 11, myself being number 10 and a girl named Julie from the future being number 11. Of course, as human nature would have it, in a spirit of competition, Platz's corporate rival, Sluman Underfoot, wanted the machine for himself and his company. So, obviously, there was a clash. That conflict and the quantum nature of the device ended up creating three parallel Earths, all existing in the same place at the same time. Mm -hmm. Forces say it's something he plans to steal from you. Mm -hmm. It could affect more than this planet. I'll keep you posted, Professor. Thank you, Decca. No problem. Whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. This show is going to be a lot of fun. Give me a second while I adjust the stereoscopes. Get the other monitors in the room lined up. There we go. Well, as you can see, I think your coordinates are a bit off. What do you mean? Looks like I'm in a tree. Ah! Oh, oh. Well, I was in a tree. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Thanks. Uh-oh. I just saw something. Might be something wrong with your helmet or camera. There it goes again. I don't know what it is. It could be the uh, five centuries between us or some other technical thing I don't know. Uh, I'll check that out a little later. I, I see something over to my left. About two or three meters. Well, by the looks of these signals, it's some kind of prinky device. It's probably used for sending and receiving transmissions of some sort. Looks like a makeshift telescope or something. Whatever it is, it's dead. Recorder activate. <laughs> Have just completed the four millennium disruptors in my interference program. Once they are installed and activated, nothing will stop me from hindering Plast's restoration attempts. And then bring on my chaos. <laughs> 